Hi guys, this is Sadek from Godwin.com and in this video, I will show you how to enable a Gemini toggle as well as a new bottom menu bar in the Google app. So as you might be aware, at the time of recording as of now, there is no integration between the Google app and the Gemini app. As you could see, this is the standalone Google app with no hints of Gemini and this is the Gemini app which is completely different from the Google app. They are currently not linked but at the time of recording, Google is undergoing a testing. In that testing, it will it is planning to integrate the Gemini inside the Google app and you could easily switch between the two using just a single toggle switch. As you could see in the screenshot, a single toggle, you will easily be able to switch between the Google search and the Gemini. Likewise, it will also add a new, new bottom menu bar with regards to the discover, search, saved and the notification tab as well. You could easily access all these tabs at the bottom. So using a single tweak, I will show you how to enable both these toggles. At the time of recording, it's currently undergoing testing and it might take months for the feature to roll out. It's not even there in the beta stage, but using a nifty workaround, I managed to find out a tweak using which you could enable both these toggles. So let me show you how this could be done. So as of now, as you could see my phone in, the, in my phone also, it's the stock Google app with no modification as such. So let me show you how to add the Gemini integration as well as the bottom menu bar. In this regard, your first course of action is to root your phone via Magisk. I have made a separate guide on the same. You could refer to my guide and root the phone. Once you have obtained root via Magisk, your next course of action is to install the latest Google beta app. So you may either do so from the Play Store. This is the Play Store listing. I am already a beta tester. So you could see like this. If you are not a tester, then you may become a tester from the official Google beta app page or you may also sideload the latest APK file from a trusted third party website. Once you are on the latest Google app beta version, you will now have to install the Gemini app on your phone as well. While the Gemini app is working across many regions and countries, but still there are a few regions wherein the Gemini app is not working. If that is the case with your phone as well, then you may refer to my guide and make the Gemini app running in unsupported regions as well. I have listed a couple of tweaks. The first is using the language tweak, whereas the second is via the VPN. You may carry out these tweaks and then the Gemini app will work on your phone without any issues. Anyways, moving on, once you have checkmarked this requirement, your next course of action is to install the GMS flags app from GitHub. So go there and install the latest build of the GMS flags app. So let me remove the app and uninstall it once again so that I will be able to show you. So let me uninstall the app from here and download and install the app once again. This is the app. So install the app. Once you have installed the Gmail Flags app, open it, then tap on start and it will now ask for the root requirement. Tap on request root. You will now get a magic prompt. Tap on grant and with this it has got the magic request. It will now ask for notification. It's completely optional. If you want, you can tap on request or tap on skip. Moving on, let's now tap on finish and the GMS flags app has been set up. You may close this warning sign. It's just saying to force stop the app after you have made the changes. So close this. Now go to the app section and hit the search icon and search for the Google app. So search in Google and then choose Google from here. Once you are inside the Google app, you will now have to select the third package name. The third package name, let me verify it once again. It's the com Android, com Google Android library search Google app user, then com Google Android Google quick search bar. The second and third are quite similar. The only difference is the third one is the user, whereas the second one is the device. So make sure you choose the third one, which is the user one. Select the third one. And now you will have to add a couple of flags. So let's add those flags for that. Tap on the workflow icon and select add a multiple flags and now you will have to add these three flags onto your device so these three flags are let me do one thing let me open my guide on my phone it itself and then i will simply copy it from there you may also take this approach and copy the code from here do keep in mind that this is the exact you have to copy the exact same flags and each flag should be in a single line in a single line there should only be a single flag so let's first copy the first flag or you could simply copy all these three flags let's 
copy them and paste it here and make sure you have one single flag in one single line let me still verify it 45427903 and 45623151 once you have entered all these three flags hit the save button and it will take a few seconds and the flags have been added and enabled now you will have to delete the data of google app and do a force stop so let's do that as well long press the google app icon and select app info then go to storage and cache tap on clear storage and hit the delete button once that is done tap on force stop and tap on ok and let's do it once again once the force stop has been done tap on open and let's verify and as you could see we have now got a bottom menu bar with the discover search and the save icon and as well as the toggle of the search and gemini toggle so if i simply choose gemini from here i am inside the gemini app for the first time you might have to do a setup so let me quickly agree to the terms and condition as you could see i am now inside the gemini app and again via a single tweak i will be again back to the google app so you may easily enable and disable the toggle using just the toggle at the top and you may switch between the google search and the gemini app and with the help of these three flags only we were also able to add the bottom menu bar as well as and when you receive a notification there will be a fourth tab as well with regard to the notification as of now we are only seeing these three tabs so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and even if after doing this you are not seeing this option then you will have to delete the data of the google app and force to it once again or do so a couple of times until and unless you see this feature that is just the only way out you will have to keep on removing the data and doing a force stop a couple of times three four times and ultimately you will get the same changes as you would see in my phone so guys on that note i round off this video all your queries are welcome in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching